Hey guys. Steps came out. All right, stay. Good boys. Okay, easy. Easy, coming right for you, pretty. So today we had to park a little further away from the entrance to the trail because we were doing some recognizance over in this area for potential werewolf ghost hunting later in the week. So to get through these two bollards, we had to do the bike without the dogs. A little bit of a hill. We're going this way, Crispy. Okay. Chris is staying with the bike to make sure that it's secure. I'm hooking up Chase. Chris, you're with the bike still? Yeah. Deal. Now we go back and get the other two. Okay, bud, no worries. Which is Princess and Jag. It's cool out here. We have air conditioning in the truck. I actually have it on, but it's so nice that the dogs, and we have specialized fans. Dogs are cool in here anyway. See the steps come out. Now we're gonna do, see, I thought I had a little fur ball you ate. I'm a good boy. She'll pull a little on you, Jimmy. You know the routine. Uh-huh. You got her? Yep. And I just noticed a little fur ball from grass he was eating. Zara or Chase, so just gonna dispose of this, folks. That's a fur ball. Not really a fur ball, it's a, a grass clump. We're all set. Good deal. Now the Jag's there. Come on, Jag. Notice how he looks to see if his steps are out. It's just easier on the dogs being able to have the steps on here. Now, again, I'm wearing a specialized harness that I custom modified that I could attach the dogs to and walk them all at one time, but just easier like this right now. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Excuse me, Jim. Chase so, sees something he wants to run already. Now, if you'll notice, all four dogs are on the bike, and including Princess, but she'll probably only go a little bit, and then we'll put her in her bed, and we'll see if she wants to run anymore. That's the life with the wolf driver.